All right, so I, would, I just wanted to talk about how the transition from my 20s to my 30s, I definitely felt it. And I think I touched on this before, but I feel like I could go a bit deeper on this. And, uh, you know, I've been thinking about some things because what I've noticed is that in my 30s, it's definitely different in terms of the social life, uh, what I've been focusing on, my energy, and a lot of different factors that I wasn't necessarily expecting, right? Because I, I think in my 20s, I had a lot of energy, but I was also kind of all over the place. And I know I talked about this before in my other piece of content about this, but there are some things that I want to go deeper on, in particular, when it, can't, when it comes to relationships, right? And I know I focus a lot on this because I think it's that important. But I realized that in my 20s, the the relationships sometimes you take them for granted right when i say relationships it could mean romantic relationships but also friendships and oftentimes with friendships that's the case in professional relation relationships as well um you know i think sometimes if we leave on not so good terms with people whether that's with friendships or you know breakups or professional relationships that can harbor some consequences down the road. And what I've noticed is people that are good at ma maintaining relationships tend to have a really healthy life in general, uh, socially, emotionally, and things like that, right? Um, so it's about being able to manage your emotions when things get really tough in a relationship, or you know, maybe it's, it's time, to, time to separate or time to let go, you know, there's always, seasons of change and uh, sometimes that's that's just what happens whether it's leaving a position at a company or uh, a relationship of course you know it runs its course or a friendship you know that could also happen how do you manage those situations are you able to to be graceful in that situation or you know sometimes the tendency can be to to be a bit cold right and distant but for me, I've come to realize, because honestly, I've, I've done that before. And what I've come to realize is if I had known this earlier, to just treat relationships with more appreciation and respect, then I think that, uh, that maybe things would be different. I mean, I'm sure things would be different, right? Um, and, you know, in spite of the fact that externally, I'm grateful for everything that I have, right? I'm grateful for uh, the things that I've gone through, the experiences I've gone through, the challenges that I've gone through to shape me into who I am today. I'm grateful for these things. At the same time, you know, I, I also reflect back on, okay, I know in the past with my relationships, I definitely, and you know, you could always look back in hindsight 2020, but you could always take care of your relationships better, right? In a healthier way. And for me, I look back and, and think about those things. And I know that what happens, how things unfold, it's, those, that's usually what's meant to happen, right? Um, and it's about taking the lessons and sharing them. Well, I guess for me, I'm sharing them with, with you. But uh, for me, you know, for people in general, it's really about taking the lessons and keeping those with you, right? Keeping those with you so that you can navigate the world more effectively in the future. And essentially that's, this is one of the biggest things that, that happened for me from my 20s to my 30s is the, if you don't maintain those relationships and you kind of just shrug people off or you don't really you know, you, you, like I said, you don't really nurture those relationships, then they'll probably go right in your 30s or when you get older, especially as you get older. Um, it's more and more likely that those relationships won't survive. And you, what you might find is that you actually might find that you're lonely at times because of that. Um, and yeah, it's, it's like an interesting phenomenon, right? Um, but that being said, it's not always a bad thing. And I think there's a difference between loneliness and being alone. 
loneliness is more of a feeling and being alone is more of just a description like a physical description of you not having people around you right um now it can be interesting though if you learn how to be alone and still be happy and content that can be very powerful and oftentimes when you get to that place then you're going to be less lonely right you're going to be less lonely because you're content with who you are and as a result you're also probably going to be less alone as well because people are going to be attracted to that that's something i've noticed that's a that's an interesting pattern honestly it's that's just an analogy like that could just be an analogy for everything else in life right even something like money or um you know just things in general right uh money for example if you become content if you're able to become content with less money and here's you know this this sometimes is controversial for some people it's like a it's something that's difficult to think about but just stick with me for a second. So if you're able to learn how to be content and fulfilled without money, that's a very powerful position to be in because now you're not making decisions based on scarcity. You're not making decisions thinking about, oh, but yeah, I need the money right now. I need to pay my bills, I need this. And especially it's a dangerous combination when you have that sort of mentality and you also don't really have a firm moral compass or you don't have firm ethics and values in place because that's when people start cutting corners and that's when people start really harming relationships because they they cheat they cheat other people out of their money right and so i think it's important to to be abundant both internally i I think what happens is the internal abundance comes first and the abundance comes from that sense of fulfillment and contentment without with or without the thing that you're striving to attain you know that can happen with relationships and dating you know if if you're a guy then with girls if you're a girl then with guys um it's if you're able to be content without that thing that you're seeking and fulfilled without the thing that you're seeking and you're still able to go for it that's a that's a very powerful combination from from what i've experienced and from what i've seen uh it, and it's, it almost seems paradoxical right to be able to have that combination you know let's say like i said you're you're trying to make money you can still keep trying like you can still keep doing things but if you remove that aspect of shame and guilt around it if you remove that as- aspect of desperation and obligation behind it and instead you replace that with appreciation and gratitude you're just enjoying the moment you're enjoying starting your business you're enjoying working like you're enjoying that the process of it instead of constantly thinking about how bad you feel about yourself that you don't have money then like i said if you're able to let go of that fi- that feeling of shame and guilt and replace it with gratitude and appreciation and still go for it that's a very powerful place to be that's where things start to happen right and like i said same thing with relationships and dating um sometimes you know as a guy you can get really sucked into wanting a girlfriend or wanting whatever if it's hooking up then wanting that right or you know for girls it could be wanting a boyfriend wanting to be in a relationship sometimes if you're grasping onto that so tightly then you're not allowing things to happen so by loosening the grip and learning to be a, learning to be content and fulfilled alone once again that can be a very powerful place because that can be attractive in itself and then people want to come to you and then things naturally happen um i'm not going to say that it happens 100 percent of the time i'm not making any guarantees um i think that you have to consider your particular situation because in the real real world it's not always black and white but for the most part i've just seen this pattern in my life and you know of of uh, people that i know personally as well So just wanted to share that with you. I'll leave it at that. I'll talk to you later. Take care.